Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. Now this week we're going to be creating Zentangle Owls. But what is a Zentangle? Zentangles are patterns that you draw that have lots of repetition. So you're doing the same strokes, the same movements over and over again. And this can be really, really good for relaxation because it can be a form of mindfulness. That means that we can concentrate on what we're drawing without having to worry or think about anything else. I find it really relaxing. For this picture, you will need paper and a pencil, some felt tip pens and some colouring pencils. Don't worry if you only have felt tip pens or if you only have colouring pencils, you can do it with just one of those. We're going to start off by drawing our owl and I have a little trick to teach you that makes drawing owls really easy. So you start off just above the middle of your paper and we're going to start with the beak. So all we need to do for this is a nice tall V. If you've got a really narrow V that'll be a pointy beak, a wide V will be a fatter beak. And then out of here we're going to do a circle that comes this way. So we're going to take the top of our V, bring it round into a circle and then we're going to do the same on the other side. Bring it round into a circle. Now you want to do this quite big because we're really going to fill up our page with our owl. This is going to be the owl's head so we want it to take up a good section near the top. Then what I'm going to do is pop the top of my owl's head on and I'm going to give him some little feathery ears because some owls have little feathers that stick up looking like ears. Then I'm going to bring this line from the end of the ear round the eye and tuck up just under the beak. Same on this side, round the eye and tuck up just under the beak. And it doesn't matter if yours isn't perfectly symmetrical. Mine isn't either. You can see this eye is a bit smaller than this one. But that's okay. Right now we're going to come down and we're going to add on our body. So just underneath the eye I'm going to bring my body out and curve it round. Same on this side. Body out, curve it round. Now I'm leaving a little gap at the bottom so that I can put my feet in. So I'm going to do three bumps like this. This is the top of the feet. And then I'm going to bring that down into three points and those are the claws of the feet. Bring that along there. So I'm really trying to fill up my page as much as I can. Okay. Then we're going to add in the wings. So from the top here, I'm going to swoop down some wings. And in the middle of my eyes, I'm going to have a circle here. So we're keeping our owl quite nice and simple so that we can add lots and lots of patterns into it later. Now we're going to choose the colours that we want to use for our Zentangle patterns. Now you only need three colours for this, so you could just choose three of your favourite colours or three colours that you think look really nice together. If you don't have felt tip pens, then you can use colouring pencils for this, so don't worry. Once you have your three pen colours, we're going to choose three colouring pencils that we think look really nice with it. Now to work this out, I had a bit of an experiment and a bit of a practice by doing a few different patterns and then lightly shading over the top with some different colours to see which one I like the most. So you could do a really simple pattern just by doing a few wiggly lines. And then testing that out to see if you go over the top shading with a colour do you like the way they look together so i'm doing a peachy pink over the top of orange and i decided that i really like that combination i have a few tips to help you choose your colours um, if you choose a colouring pencil that's not too dark so that it will create a really pale background that will work really well you can also look at choosing a colouring pencil that picks out something in the colour of your pen. So in the colour of my pen, purple, you have reds and you have blues that make purple. So a pink has got some red in it, so that will go nicely. Um, an orange, now I think this shade of brown is quite an orangey looking brown, so that will go quite well together. 
And then in a green, you have blue and you have yellow. So I've gone for pale blue to go with that one. So we're going to start off doing our Zentangle patterns on the head of our owl, because this is going to be the most complicated bit. Now I'm going to start off by adding some feathers around the edge of the eyes and I'm going to choose one of my coloured pens to do most of the detail on the head. So starting on the top of the eye, I'm going to start off with some small bumps and I'm going to make them get slightly bigger as I go around. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to just add another curved line inside each of those feathers. Like this. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of detail to the eyes. So I'm going to put a black pupil in the centre of the eyes. And around that I'm going to put a purple ring. And then I'm going to do another one around that. And then to join this eye onto the feathers, I'm going to have lots and lots of lines coming from the centre, joining out to the outside. And I'm going to try and keep them the same sort of distance apart and curve them around so that it's like doing all of the lines coming out from a sun shape. Now that I've finished that, I'm going to go over this pencil line with my purple to make it a little bit more bold. Okay, now I'm going to add some shapes into my um, beak. So I'm going to put a point on the top of it and I'm going to do lots of little V shapes that just tuck inside. Now we're ready for our next colour, so I'm going to do a little bit of orange next. And I'm going to add a little bit more detail to the head here, so I'm going to put one large feather coming out from there and then two other feathers on each side and into these feathers I'm going to put a line going down the centre of them and coming off of this line I'm going to have lots and lots of diagonal lines a little bit like you'd see on a leaf so your lines leave the centre and they curve upwards so I'm going to do the same to this one And then I'm going to add in some more bumpy lines around the outside of this to fill this gap between those feathers and the edge of the head. So I'm going to go from the centre of one of these and I'm going to try and touch the end of my bump in the centre of the next one. This is a skill that we're going to be doing in lots of our Zentangles, so from the centre to the centre. So do you see in the middle of this bump here? That's where I'm going to try and get each of my bumps to hit. And it might mean that some of them end up being really long like this to stretch around. So I'm going to do that on both sides. Now to fill in the last bits of my head, I'm just going to do curved lines over this part here. Now when each of these lines gets to meet something else, 
I'm going to stop. So when my line comes up and joins onto this feather, I'm going to stop, take my pen off, and then join on from the same height on the other side. Stop, carry on on the other side. Same with these feathers. And that makes it look like the lines go behind them. Okay, and then I'm going to have some lines coming up, curve following this curve here on my ears. I'm going to do an orange line all the way around, the pencil line around the outside, and then that's my head finished. Now if you want to add more details, if you notice other little spaces that you want to fill up with patterns, then absolutely go ahead. Yours can be as different to mine as you want it to be. I'm just giving you lots of ideas if you feel a little bit stuck for what to do. Okay, I've finished head.